Hi, in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about PC board manufacturing. Um, as most people probably know from my other videos, I've used Osh Park for a lot of my, uh, my PC board fabrication. Um, a few weeks ago I got an email from Seed Studio asking if I would review their service in exchange for um, some coupons for some free boards. So I said, you know, sure, I can't turn down free boards, I'll do that. So um, these are the boards that I got back. I'm going to show you a little bit about using the service online um, to order the boards, uh, what you need to do in Eagle to produce the right files, and then we'll take a look at the boards and evaluate them and see how they worked out for me. Okay, so I have my Eagle board open in Eagle. Uh, it's time to generate the files that Seed Studio requires. Um, with Oshpark, I just upload an Eagle board file. Uh, with Seed Studio, we have to go to a couple extra steps, but they're really not very hard. So start by pushing this CAM processor button. Uh, that has popped up this dialog. And we need to file open job. Um, so this is the Eagle directory. I actually put my job somewhere else. And that is this file here called Seed Gerber Generator 2 Layer. Now you download this particular file from Seed Studio's website. It has all the settings in it to make the necessary uh, Gerber files. So open that job. Then we're going to push the Process Job button. And you can see it did a few things, but it happened really quick. It's already done. So that has generated all of the files that we need. Uh, now we just need to zip them up. So I've got couple Explorer windows set up here. Just drag those into place. Uh, so this first one is my work directory where I have all of my uh, usual stuff. Um, you can see I sorted it by date and that cam processing job generated all these files. These are all Gerber files and Exelon drill files and a text document. Um, always generate this set for the top and bottom layers and other stuff. Um, it's all there. We want it all. Uh, copy and I'll just paste it into an empty work directory. Uh, now we need to zip these up into a zip archive. So let me just... I've got the 7-zip tool installed so I'll, we'll add to seed.zip. So now down here we've got a zip archive that we can upload to Seed Studio. So here we are at the Seed Studio Fusion uh, web page. Um, so let's go in and let's order now. Add your Gerber file. That's what we want to do. We called it seed.zip. So it's going to process the Gerber file. Um, and it's loaded. Um, now we can go into the Gerber viewer. Takes it a second here. And there we can see our file. So we can kind of click individual layers on and off if we wanted to and uh, see what those layers do. You know, this is always a good idea to verify um, that what you wanted came up correctly. So we can look at the top, the bottom, um, overall. Looks to me like it should. Uh, then let's uh, finish up the settings for our board. Uh, now the board size, it says it can automatically calculate this, but it, it never seems to work right for me. Um, it always just says 100 by 100, uh, regardless if I upload a board that's bigger or smaller than 100 by 100. That's what it says, so I go in and I manually figure out the dimensions. So let's see, where is my board file? This is back in Eagle. We can kind of click over here. We know that's uh, 3.35 inches wide by 2.2 inches tall. And then we'll, we can just go into um, And again, that was 3.35. Let's round up to 86 millimeters wide. And 2.2. Let's 
round up to 56 millimeters long. Um, not sure that's what I was supposed to do there, but it's what I did last time I made one of these and it worked. Um, quantity of boards is 10. Uh, we can pick a color and uh, make them blue. Now the surface finish, uh, the one that's checked is uh, hot air solder leveling. That's the cheapest one. Uh, we can click some of the others. Um, they're all going to cost more. So uh, lead free is more. Um, Enig, um, Electrolist, Nickel Immersion Gold, I think that stands for, is well more. Um, hard Gold is a, a fortune. So I think the ones I get from Osh Park are Enig. Um, Hassle is uh, cheaper. Um, so let's do some Hassle boards. Um, the other thing to keep in mind, if you exceed uh, 100 millimeters in this, um, let's try 101, price goes way up. Uh, so under 100 millimeters is what you want. And then we would just push the uh, add to cart button and uh, add it to cart. Add it successfully. So ordering is going to depend on where you're located and which shipping method you choose. For me, I chose the cheapest shipping method, um, $14.90. Um, so $4.90 for the board, $14.90 for shipping. Um, obviously, it makes sense for you to order lots of boards to kind of spread that shipping cost around. Um, My package from Seed Studio has arrived, so let's open it up. See what's in here. Uh, Seed Studio stickers. Bubble pack. Two sets of uh, boards. are Raspberry Pi MIDI hats. Ten of them here. Over here. We have Mixi Tube boards. So, 10 of those. Can't really uh, tell. I made these ones blue, these ones black. Okay, so let's take a closer look at these boards. So, on the right is the one that just showed up from Seed Studio in uh, hot air solder leveling. And on the left, this is a board from Osh Park. Um, this board used the uh, Enig um, gold-plated finish. Um, the relative prices, it was $37 for three of these from Osh Park uh, versus $4.90 for 10 of these from Seed Studio. Um, this one had free shipping. Uh, this one, the shipping was additional. So you have to do the math, you know, figure this one's got free shipping, this one the shipping is extra. Um, but it's still going to come out that this one here is much cheaper. Um, assuming you actually do want 10 quantity of boards. And that's understandable because this is uh, the hot air solder leveling finish, which is a less expensive finish. Now you can also get um, Enig boards from uh, Seed Studio as well as hard gold boards. Uh, those are going to cost more. Um, I think the price is still comes out much cheaper than ordering the three quantity from uh, Osh Park. It really depends on how many boards you want. Uh, a lot of people who are reselling boards um, in various places, they come with this uh, hot air solder leveled finish, so I have to wonder if they're getting them from a place like Seed Studio. The overall quality of both boards looks good. Um, the hot air solder leveling, just the nature of the finish, it's a little bit lumpier, uh, whereas the uh, the plated one here, it's completely flat. 
I understand, you know, from what I've read, the the plated is more durable finish than the hot air solder level. You would not want to, um, for example, use this on edge card connectors like an ISA card. Um, but, you know, I'm happy with these. I am toying with the idea of reselling um, some of these Raspberry Pi hats and stuff. So this would be, you know, a nice economical way to uh, do it. So let's, uh, let's try to actually uh, build this up and try it out and the proof will be that it works. So I have finished making the circuit board. Um, soldered together really well. Um, solder flowed to the um, hassle pads on the board perfectly. Um, very easy to build. Um, here it is. Completed. Um, I've left some of the components out because I don't need them in this particular uh, use case um, and I've mounted the components I needed so this is one of my Raspberry Pi uh, MIDI hats I'm going to mount it on the Raspberry Pi here is the old one my first revision of the board see I did a few weird things like I had the power jack pointing out to the side um, I have the LEDs buried in the middle. There's actually a hack on here where I had to rewire the LEDs. Uh, so that one, so that one, you know, I came up with some revisions to it and sent off for this replacement one. We will try it and see if I corrected all my original mistakes. Okay, let's give it the good old uh, does it work test. Um, I've installed the MIDI shield back in its case. You can see it's hooked in there. It's a Raspberry Pi. Uh, this is my MIDI uh, jukebox uh, project that plays music on uh, Roland SC55. So let's plug it in. Take the uh, Raspberry Pi a second to boot. And there it is, playing music. Okay, just give my final thoughts on this. I think these boards, uh, they worked out great. Um, I'm happy with the quality. Um, the process was easy to do online. The price was very good, uh, $4.90 uh, for quantity 10 boards. Um, as long as it's under 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. You know, I've got nine more boards here left that I can do something with or resell them or whatever I want to do with them. Um, so I would particularly recommend this service to anyone who uh, wants to get quantity and uh, resell them or give them away or whatever you want to do with your extra boards. Thank you for watching my video. Please visit my website at www.smbaker.com for more electronics projects and sand rail stuff. Bye.